every single one of us in this room has a message on our forehead. What we think of ourselves is what other people think of us. To change what other people think of us, we have to change what we think of ourselves. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you can't, you are right. We have to believe in ourselves before anyone else will believe in us. I have to tell you a story. About 15 years ago, I had to give a big presentation in front of a thousand people, just over a thousand students. And I was pretty anxious at the time and I was getting ready. And my partner at the time looked at me and said, they're gonna laugh at you. Needless to say, he's not my partner anymore. <laughs> But I did take a girlfriend along. This friend of mine, she was a successful businesswoman in Bloemfontein, the little city where I lived in South Africa. And she thought it was amazing. She thought it was dynamic and successful and invincible. She just, she's always thought that of me. And when I'm with her, I am those things. And I took her along and she came with me and I crashed that presentation. But what did I do that day? I had a believer. Get yourself a believer, somebody that believes in you and believes in what you can do and cares about your public speaking, somebody that will give you constructive feedback. There's another thing though, it's great to have a believer and if you can't find a believer, not even your mom, let me know, I would love to be your believer. We all need a believer, we all need a believer. But more important than having a believer, is being a believer. Being a believer in yourself. You have to champion yourself. Those three words that you wrote down, engrave them in your heart, tattoo them, I don't care, but become those words. You have to be a believer. I live in sunny Southern California. It's beautiful every day. The ocean is there and I, I love it. However, we've got these horrible black birds. Anyone from Southern California? horrible blackbirds and they make a horrible sound like kah, kah, kah. horrible and you know whether you're on the golf course or at the beach you have these go these birds always each one of us have a blackbird on our shoulder telling us why we can't be successful why you can't be a good mom and have a full-time job while you can't have a team and manage people that are 20 years older than you, they're not gonna care about what you have to say. Why you can't go and make that tough presentation or have an on the level conversation with your boss. Your most important job in life is to knock that effing bird off your shoulder. <laughs> if you wanna do something, if you wanna go somewhere, knock on doors, be resilient. When those doors don't open, keep on knocking. Don't get discouraged. But when that door is opened for you, don't hesitate. Turn around and open the door for other women. Help others. 